When you are ready to send down a newsletter to your email subscribers, you can create your email on the Compose tab. In terms of the format of your email, you have five different options to choose from. As you can see here, the options are plain text, raw HTML, styled text, plain text and raw HTML, and plain text and styled text. A plain text email will allow you to create a regular text message without any styling at all. Raw HTML will be for more advanced users who will want to manually code exactly what the end user will see. Style text allows you to edit a message similar to a document in a text editor by easily adding styles, fonts, colors, and sizes to your text. Plain text and raw HTML, as well as plain text and style text, allow you to do a combination of both formats. Most users will use the styled text option, so I will use that in my examples. In the From Name field, put the name that you want the email to be sent from. For most users, this will be the name of the business, so I will put Jeremy's Golf Shop. The From email will be the email address that shows up to the user. Some users have autoresponders set up, so make sure this email address is valid. Then give your newsletter a catchy subject. Now we'll need to specify who we want to send this newsletter to. Next to Recipients, you will notice it says that no list is selected. I'll need to add a list by clicking on Choose and then selecting the list I want to send the email to. Now we can begin composing the email. At the top of the styled text editor, you will see buttons that you might be familiar with. These are buttons we will use to add style to our emails. One of the buttons here that I want to show you a bit more in detail about is this button here on the far right. This button allows us to add certain items to the email which will be personalized to the user we send to. So for example, if I want to say hi and then the person's name, I could write hi and then select full name. If I only want to use their first name, I could just erase the text for the full name and select first name. Now, if I want to tell them about our 30% off sale and entice them to come visit Jeremy's Golf Shop, I might write something like this. Notice how I included some of the information that the user provided to me when signing up. In this case, I included their handicap as a way of personalizing the email. This is just one example of many ways you can personalize the email. I encourage you to play around with it for a bit and become more comfortable with creating emails. So that is a basic tutorial on composing an email. In another video, I'm going to show you an important tip on saving your newsletter properly. Please make sure to watch that video. As a reminder, you can see all of the MailShoot video tutorials by clicking on the Help button here in MailShoot. If you do not see the Help button, please download the latest version of MailShoot.